Hey guys, welcome back to Choose Your Own Path. And look, I got my toque on again. It's fucking get, it's getting cold out here, guys. I'm telling you, it ain't gonna happen often to come out. But uh, we just got an order to do a fish. I'm just like, wow, sweet. This is what I want. This is what I'm looking for, is to get my stuff out there and maybe somebody will order it instead of just making it and going, uh, maybe I'll buy it. Anyway, they want a catfish. So what we did was we drew out our catfish, just took a pattern, uh, whatever I saw on, on the net of what a catfish looked like. I mean, I know what a catfish looks like. We have them out here. So this is going to be a 15 inch. This is 15 inches plus the tail. We still got to do the tail. Do that last. Um, and then we're, you know, fins obviously and the, the whiskers are going to be whatever, separate. Um, you know, you got to round it off like that. That's all the catfish. So we're looking at doing this on, remember, we said we had some treated wood. Uh, glued them together a while back. So they're on there solid. So it's a six by two. So we basically got a six by four because there's two inches and two inches, roughly two inches. These things, you know, they're always shot off. Okay, guys, you know what to do. Draw out your pattern and then cut it out. I'm going to go to the saw. I'm going to cut it out. All right, back to a nice cool morning kind of thing. It's like 9 30, 10 o'clock. Um, yeah, still got the toque on because you know what? It's cold. <laughs> All right, so going to the catfish. So, <clears throat> you know, we drew out our catfish to make our plan, but we also need a reference to, you know, visualize how we want our catfish to look. Now, you know, our catfishes are fucking ugly, man. Like, uh, let me tell you, they're the fugly of the family of fish because, I don't know, they're just gross. I I've, don't think I've eaten one yet. I know that my brother had it smoked and I don't know. Anyway, I I'm sure it tastes good. People out there eat them. If you know a great recipe, you know, share it. Because I'd love to see what the hell that is. Or don't send me it because I don't want it. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So we got our block of wood off. Now what I did was, <clears throat> let me show you. I kind of, um, you can see the pencil lines. I kind of went as the same look. You want a big fat belly and then it comes out. Because that's what it is. Big fat belly fish. And then you run around it out. Now, what the top's going to look like is going to be totally different. It's got to come down. So, let's... Uh, oh, I'm not even set up for the shit. Let me get out and set All right, up. we're set up. Okay. So, what we got going on... <clears throat> again, because we don't have this kind of burr with our cuts all. We have to use a saber tooth. So, which is fine. We're not going to be, you know, discriminating against our birds. We just want to do what we got to do. Um... Mm -hmm. These burrs, again, just like all the cut saw ones, are great for doing the rounding of what you want to do. So, again, you got your line. You usually do them on both sides. This is going to be a hard wood to cut. So let's hope this works. If it doesn't, we're going to bring it to the, the big sand, the belt sander over there. And I'm going to chew up a lot on that one. So let's get you guys down here to look. Put on your goggles. Always have your safety goggles on. You don't believe I wear them. There you are. Look at me. And then always get yourself a good face mask. This one's just to keep out a good amount of chunk of dust. See, I'm on there. Plus, it hides my beautiful beard. All right, guys. So, fan's going to go on. Dust, the suction. It'll be a little noisy. But just uh, showing you a bit what we're going to do. Now, you know my style. I don't show shit. That's terrible. Such a dumbass. Anyway, here we go. Get some fins. Um, now, of course, you know, let's, uh, let's just do what we do. You see that? 
this is what I based it on. I don't know if it's close. I don't know if it's accurate. I don't know if it's whatever. All I know is I love doing this shit. So to you. Anyway, we're going to continue. So just had a little problem with one of the fins um, here. Kind of broke off. So uh, fixed it. Made them a little thick. This is actually going to the States. I told you that guys had. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope he likes it. Um, we're going to find something to mount it on. Not sure if it's going to have something like that or maybe just a board that's going to go on. Kind of hanging like that. So next step is uh, we're still doing a lot of sanding, okay? Because um, I found that this wood, using some pine, but it's uh, treated pine. But it doesn't matter because I took all the treated stuff off, right? So it's in there. It won't crack, that's for sure. Um, a little hard to sand. Don't know why. Maybe it's just the shit that I'm using. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But I'll try to sand it more. Try to get it more smooth. Plus, you know, get down to a, a smoother grit. And then when we're done that, um, we're going to bring it in. Uh, we'll do the uh, um, varnish. Or, you know, we'll, we'll protect it. And then we'll paint it. The mouth, I'm not sure. There's no teeth in a catfish. I know that. And, oh, yeah. Plus... Whiskers, right? We still got to bring in the four, four or six whiskers. There's got like a little juke and two here, kind of beard here, kind of coming down. Uh, two side whiskers. Um, maybe, a, I don't know, two on the top, I think. So we got to figure out what we're going to do with that. If we're going to actually carve that with wood. Or we're going to make something else. Maybe we'll use some wire. Maybe we'll just, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, maybe some 3D epoxy stuff. We'll see. Anyway, we're going to call this video one because we always do two or three of them because that's just the way we do things. It's nice and heavy. It feels like a fish got pounds. Uh, don't like catfish, but uh, they bite. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try to post the other one ASAP, the, the rest of it. Um, I will do more recording sort of getting up on the people you know we're at five nine fifty four that's not bad but i mean it's taking me forever to get a thousand and the reason i get one a thousand no the reason i'm asking to get to a thousand it's not the monetary thing i don't give a shit because i didn't get paid nothing to do this i just like it because i could do it live videos after so you know share it around hopefully we get other people that would maybe be interested in seeing this kind of stuff i'm on tiktok so i do that i share it there facebook with all the groups i share it there um, really enjoy doing the fish carving, but, um, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Am I okay at it? Is it looking good? Like, what do you guys think? You've seen, you've seen a couple of my fish. You know, I just, I need some feedback because it's hard, it's hard when you're on YouTube and stuff like that. Like, you get people viewing it, but nobody says nothing about what you're doing. Like, does it look like shit? Does it look good? I mean, don't lie. Nobody wants to hear liars. You know, if I lie, I'll tell myself I'm good looking. That's, there's a good lie. So, let's not do that. Um, you know, improvements, am I doing it perfectly, like what, like, let me know, the rings are coming to get you, anyway, copy time, I'm gonna set up this video for you guys to see it, you go from there, all right guys, thanks for watching, if I could do it, you can do it, choose your own path, all right.